सर एज यू आर अवेयर अंडर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सर्टेन राइट्स हैव बीन रिजर्व फॉर द शेड्यूल्ड कास्ट एंड द शेड्यूल्ड ट्राइब्स एज लेड डाउन इन आर्टिकल थ्री थर्टी ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन नाउ द प्रिंसिपल पॉइंट इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ विच दिस राइट वॉज रिजर्व और रिकोगनाइज वॉज दैट देयर ऑट टू बी रिजर्वेशन ऑफ सीट्स सो फार एज द शेड्यूल्ड कास्ट एंड द शेड्यूल्ड ट्राइब्स वर कंसर्न इन द पार्लियामेंट एंड इन द स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर्स then sir it was left to the president to prepare the lists and to promulgate them so far as these tribes were concerned and therefore under article 341 1 these orders were issued by the president under the authority which had vested in him in all as many as four orders were issued in 1950 and according to these orders effect has been given and seats were reserved at the last general elections and naturally at the subsequent by elections as well sir at the time when these lists were under preparation and uh, subsequently also a number of complaints were made to the government of india and according to some the lists were incomplete and according to others there were certain communities give certain tribes or castes which ought not to have been included and therefore when under article 340 of the constitution the government appointed the backward classes commission in 2003 they requested the backward classes commission also to consider the question as to whether there ought to be any additions to or reductions from the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes orders as pointed out by me just now now the whole question was considered by the backward classes commission and in volume 2 of their report they have dealt with this question on the information that they then had thereafter sir twice the views of the backward classes commission were sent to the state governments in the first place we requested them to offer to us their views or reactions they were received and thereafter the government considered all those matters as also the suggestions and again sent back their tentative views to the state governments the state governments considered this matter and thereafter their views in a final shape came and after the receipt of all this material and after considering all the circumstances the government took certain decisions then sir there are certain matters which i should like to explain to this honorable house so far as the main principles on which the present amending bill has been brought forward the backward classes commission sir made certain recommendations in respect of these there were three important suggestions that the backward classes commission made one was as you are aware sir in respect of the untouchables amongst the sikh community now it was at one time contended that the sikhs were not hindus at all that was rather a wide claim then they also 
contented that they had no caste system as such amongst these six therefore there could be no question of any caste being recognized as a scheduled caste because as you are aware sir the members should belong to the hindu community and it was one of the fundamental or vital points on which a community within that particular tribe or within that particular group of people could be recognized as a scheduled caste in respect of scheduled tribes sir the question of their belonging to a particular religion need not be taken into account and there are scheduled tribes who have been recognized in these orders who belong either to the hindu community or to the christian community or they follow certain customs and manners which may not come within the established doctrines of either hinduism or christianity therefore sir so far as the scheduled tribes were concerned the question of their being members of the hindu community was not taken into account at all but so far as the scheduled castes are concerned we have to understand here the historical fact that these were members of the hindu religion but on account of certain notions prevailing in ancient india certain people our own people were unfortunately recognized as untouchables as they are called and therefore certain very bred practices based on the alleged doctrine of untouchability grew up and that to a very large extent as you are aware sir polluted the very good atmosphere that ought to have been associated with the hindu religion so for centuries together this disability remained amongst these people but thanks to gandhi ji and to a number of other great leaders of ours this question was taken up and since then especially during the last 30 years sir considerable headway has been made so far as the annihilation of this practice of untouchability is concerned